So uh, what we've been developing in this project on holographic acoustic elements for manipulation of levitated objects is it's really about uh, levitating um, objects which is pulling and pushing them uh, using um, sound waves. Uh, we have um, an array of uh, ultrasound speakers that we control uh, through our computational algorithm. Uh, we turn these speakers on and off uh, with different uh, time delays. Now uh, once we do this, what we can do is we can generate a three-dimensional sound field. Uh, this three-dimensional three sound field is a bit like an acoustic hologram. Uh, once we generate this three-dimensional sound field, uh, there's enough pressure and intensity in the sound field to hold objects in, in mid-air. Right? So, uh, uh, actually what our paper shows is one way in which you can use an array of ultrasound speakers to create this kind of a tractor beam effect uh, that you see in Star Wars or Star Trek. One of the main applications of uh, in vivo manipulation would be the diegetic drug delivery. And for instance, when you take medicines or drugs, the medicine, the com chemical compound, goes all over your body. But if you want it only to take a fair effect in one part, you can drop it there, the capsule, and the drug will only scatter in that area. Acoustic waves, they can penetrate through flesh and vessels and bones. Maybe you have like an air bubble, that is creating troubles with this technology, you could drop the particle and move it around. The kind of things that you expect a visual hologram to behave in is also the way in which an acoustic hologram behaves. And I think that's quite interesting as a scientist.